O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. On this feast of St. Augustine, some words from his confessions. Late have I loved you, beauty so old and so new. Late have I loved you, and see, you were within me. And I was in the external world, and sought you there, and in my unlovely state, I plunged into those lovely created things which you made. You were with me, and I was not with you. The lovely things kept me from you, though if they did not have their existence in you, they would have had no existence at all. You called, and cried out loud to me, and shattered my deafness, you were fragrant and resplendent, you put to flight my blindness, you were fragrant and I drew my breath and now pant after you. I tasted you and now I feel nothing but hunger and thirst for you. You touched me and I am set on fire to attain the peace which is yours. Psalm 112 Alleluia, blessed are those who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, a generation of the faithful that will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house and their righteousness endures forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright. Gracious and full of compassion are the righteous. It goes well with those who are generous in lending and order their affairs with justice, for they will never be shaken. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil tidings. Their heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their heart is sustained and will not fear until they see the downfall of their foes. They have given freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands fast forever. Their head will be exalted with honour. The wicked shall see it and be angry. They shall gnash their teeth in despair. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Generous God, save us from the meanness that calculates its interest and hoards its earthly gain. As we have freely received, so may we freely give, in the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves, Pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Let us pray. As we celebrate St. Augustine today, we pray for those seeking God, seeking meaning in their lives. We pray, Lord, for all those who put their trust in false security. We pray that you may overturn those vanities in our lives, that we may put our trust in you. Deliver us from the pursuit of idols. Let us know your true life. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. O 
as we remember St Augustine. We pray for all those theologians and teachers in the church, for all who use their gifts to enrich and deepen our understanding. We pray that we may be, have ever inquiring and searching minds and hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Lord, who turned Augustine from his sins to be a faithful bishop and teacher, grant that we may follow him in penitence and discipline till our restless hearts find their rest in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the benefits that you have won for us, for all the pains and insults that you have borne for us. Most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, our Saviour, give us peace. Amen.